Hey everyone, uh, I'm going to quickly show you how to embed the Desmos calculator within Canvas. That way you don't have to have, students don't have to have two apps open. So the first thing I want to do is go to quizzes, I'm going to add a new quiz, and then uh, I'm going to select new quizzes. And you can pretty much do this in any, in in, when you add a page or um, assignments or anything like that, you can pretty much embed it. So let's title this embed Desmos graph. All right, and then you can change those settings. I'm gonna hit save. All right, so the first thing I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna show you two different ways to add it. Uh, the first way is if you just wanna add in a specific problem, if you only want students to see the calculator in specific problems, or uh, we'll add a stimulus so we can just be on the left-hand side the whole time. All right, so um, I'll just select a multiple choice. Uh, question one, and here's my stem. Uh, answer um, so here I can embed put the calculator the calculator pretty much anywhere in this question so um, what you're gonna do is you're gonna insert edit media and then you can embed it so first let's go get our embed code so I'm gonna go ahead and open up let me start it from scratch here uh, desmos.com forward slash calculator and you can in basically however this window is set up and whatever you type in the inputs that's what's going to show up on your embed code so if you want to leave a blank you can leave it like this if you want to have something specific on it that might help students you can have this uh, thing already playing here um, and then you can change the window or whatever the grid or however you want it to look like and then once you have everything fixed the way you want it you're going to go to the top right, you'll see a share graph, and then embed on the right. And so it'll give you this embed code. So I'm going to go ahead and right click, copy. I'll go to canvas over here. And so again, insert, edit media, embed. I'm going to paste it. So before you hit OK, there's a few things you might want to adjust. Uh, for sure, you're going to want to go to um, where it says embed right here. I'm going to go ahead and delete embed. And then I'll also delete that question mark. If you don't, it's just going to show the graph without the inputs, so students won't be able to put their inputs in. So, um, and then if you want to change the width from 500 pixels and the height from 500 pixels, the border, whatever else you want to change, uh, I'm going to leave it like this for now. But sometimes I like to put the width at 100%, just so it can take up the width of the screen. Um, so then I hit OK, and then you'll see it here. Um, right there. Uh, so let me just put some fake answers here. All right, so this is what the question looks like. So I'm going to show you uh, what it looks like if you want to just have it there on the left hand side rather than add it to every question. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the plus and add the stimulus. All right, so I added a stimulus and it's just going to put it here on the left hand side. And so again, I'm gonna pretty much anywhere it has a box like this where you can edit and add content, you'll be able to put the calculator. So like same thing in pages or um, assignments or anything like that, you can add that calculator. So I'm gonna hit insert edit media um, and then this is gonna be the window I want. I share, embed, I'm gonna copy that. So now I'm gonna come here and put Go to my embed, hit paste. But now I want the width to be 100%. So that way I take up the width of the screen. I'll leave everything else the same. And then again, I need to delete the embed and the question mark. So I need to delete all of that. And hit OK. So now it takes the width of the screen. I'm going to add the stimulus so we can see what that looks like. So now it's just a blank graph here as opposed to this one down here with it. And then you can on the right add all your questions. So um, multiple choice. All right, so you'll, your questions will just be here on the right and you can add as many as you want. So again, you can see all of your questions on the right, and then also have this calculator on the left. So we've got a preview just to kind of get a quick look at it. 
calculator, students can use that. Y equals to X plus three. They can type in it. They can manipulate that. Same thing with this one. They can exit out of stuff, whatever. So um, that's how you embed it. I uh, hope this helps. Let me know if you have any questions.